Hey up campers, how are you all doing? So this is the video you've been waiting all your lives for. I don't have to talk shite though. This is going to be the bread bake off with camper van gas. So it's a low carb recipe. It's a vegan recipe. And we're both going to make it and then do a taste test. So I'm just getting things ready. My arm thing has gone a bit limp, so the camera's falling about. It's all right at the minute, but I'm, I'm not sure what the angle's going to be like, but I shall do my best to give you a good view. So, uh, measuring some ingredients. Almond flour. Almond flour is quite a good substitute for normal flour. It's more protein than carb. Um, um, so I've got this written down, this recipe. It's off a, a site, a, a YouTube channel, Heavenly Fan. She's a keto vegan. If you want a challenge with a diet, you try that one. I don't know how much I'll actually follow, but we were. So that's <coughs> no, 120 grams. Five. I will put the recipe below if anybody wants to replicate it. I want and 13 is 124. I need 120, that'll do. Is that enough? Do you think that's enough? Then wheat gluten. So this got 10 grams of carbs, 100 grams, which is not that much really. It's not like having normal bread, but there is um, wheat gluten in normal bread. Right, that needs to be at not. Why was it at 44 when there was nothing on it? Oh, I don't trust this now. I can't, I can't do that. I, can't, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I've got to start again. I've got to start again. Right. Let's try this. Ounce with a bigger bowl. Oh, that says 121. Perfect. Almost. Can you have almost perfect? This is a perfect area in, I suppose. Right, so... It says 175 grams of gluten. I'm not putting that much in. I'm putting 150. So it's the gluten that... That makes it like bread because uh, it's kind of got a bendy texture because you can make low carb breads without gluten and unless you use some other sort of substitute that makes it bendy it's just dry and it's more like a cake than bread like that. so I've got my Dry ingredients in there. What's next? Quarter cup of flax seeds. That is a quarter cup. And these are flax seeds. Oh, I'm gonna put all them in. It's more or less a quarter. What's next? What's next? A teaspoon of sweetener. I might not put a whole teaspoon of this. This is um. Stevia sweetener. Stevia is a natural sweetener. It's it's from a leaf. Um, I think that's ample. It does make a difference to the taste of the bread, though, if you don't put sweetener in. It's amazing, really, how much sugar is in everything. Um, which is probably why the nation is getting fatter. People think it's fat that makes you fat, but actually sugar is probably worse a teaspoon of salt well I'm gonna just four tablespoons of olive oil tablespoon in these things right I'll put this in the water okay. 
I don't, right, so the next one is two teaspoons of dry action yeast. I think I have to put the um, yeast in this water. Something like that, anyway. But it's quite hot, is that? I don't want to kill the yeast. I'll just let that cool down a minute. So obviously yeast, it's what makes bread rise. Um, often with the low-carb breads, you don't use yeast or gluten, but you use a bike, uh, baking powder. So I'm actually going to put in a teaspoon of baking powder. This will be a little bit different to what Gaz is doing, because it, it'll probably follow it to the T. Which might mean his turns out better than mine. But anyway, teaspoon of vinegar. Right, it's one in there. I think I've just added this as an ingredient. I don't think it's on the list. Let's do my own thing. Doing my own thing. What a view. It's still the Peak District looking out onto that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, two teaspoons of yeast. And I'm putting them in the water. The oil and that. So I say it needs to uh, do what it does. Actually, I want to add a bit of extra something to my bread. So I've got this but, um, little super seed mix. So it's got, uh, well it's more um, flax or linseed it says here, but linseed is flaxseed, hemp seed, chia seed. Oh. This absorbs water as well, flaxseed, so might need to adjust the liquid. That's quite a cup of seeds. Adds extra nutrition, which is never a bad thing. I just hear Gaz revving his uh, van. Battery must be on again. See, this should bind together. Not really binding together at the minute. We need more liquid, yes. Definitely. Oh, God. Okay, me so I'm I'm gonna cook mine in my Dutch oven. My cast iron pan, which is another name for it. And gas is gonna cook his in his um well he's got a, a proper oven now because he's a flash sod and he will be doing a review of it i think at some point seems to work all right really i just haven't got space for something like that so i have to use my pen which is fine you know, I bake cakes, I bake bread, I've done roast vegetables. It does everything an oven does, does my pan. Pretty much. Just not very big, so you can't have huge things in there. But it's not a bad thing either. The point of doing this really is just to see if the bread is baked better in Gaz's oven. But also to see if my bread's better than his, which of course it will be. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I mean, I've, mine will be a bit different because I've changed the recipe a bit. But it's just something to do, in it? Apparently this is a very important step. It's kind of, it's helping the gluten get more elastic or something, I don't know. But it makes the It'll make the bread lighter, I think. I don't know, I'm just backing it up as I go along. As usual. 
Oh God, is that 15 minutes yet? <laughs> so it's, so you see it's quite elastic -y. Thing is, it, it might not be perfect, but it'll be edible and it'll resemble bread-ish. So that's all that matters. Right. Right, so that's gonna gnu. That's gnu. I don't want to stop. That's gonna sit there for about an hour. What time is it now? I can't say bugger all. So it's about ten past five. So yeah, I'll sit for a while. Oh, it's putting my light out. Bell end. Um. And while that's sitting there, I'm going to film Gaz making his bread. We're at your gaff and you're making bread. I am, apparently. It's the bread bake-off. <laughs> so. I've got the recipe you sent me. Check the ingredients and get all those ready. Right. One, it's 175 of the gluten. I put less in and okay. put 150. And why was that? <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like it. Is it a tip or a hint that I don't know about? I don't know. Um, I don't know, I just like to change things. But it'll be interesting to see whose bread turns out better. Yes, I mean, we've, we've got different ways of baking haven't we you've got a different oven yeah. to mine but also because my ingredients are slightly different yes um so and also in my defense the lady in the video says do not use ground almonds and i have got ground almonds not almond flour what she recommended mm. So whether that will make a difference. You see, my almond flour, in inverted commas, is fairly coarse anyway. You can yeah. get it ground yeah. really finely, right. which is more like actual flour, but it costs a fortune. Um, so that 175. Yeah, and I'll, I'll follow it as it says. Yes. I haven't got a sieve, so that's that sieved. I didn't sieve mine either. 120 grams of... Almond flour. And then they're 50 each, aren't they? So. It doesn't more. seem very much. Mind you, there's a lot of gluten. Did I do more? I did 120 grams of the almond flour and 150 of the gluten. Right. We shall see. We shall see. I also added an extra, uh, extra seed mix as well. So, one at the tablespoon. Sweet there. How does that go in? Tablespoon, is it? That's what that says. I'm going to put a teaspoon in. I think these are going to taste rather different, don't you? Yes. Yeah, well, definitely a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. no, I haven't got a tablespoon, so it'll be a rather large dessert spoon. Yeah. I'll just put all the dry ingredients together. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference, really, is it? It's all going to get mixed up there. That sounds like a large. Do you like sweet bread? <laughs> Isn't that called cake? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Welcome to cooking with gas. Right. Sorry. Um, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So you say you say oh you did put some in didn't you? I had a teaspoon. Where did I get my list of ingredients from? Oh, I assume on the video that you sent me. I no wonder it keeps turning out wrong. This is this is a large <laughs> teaspoon. So I'll put I'll just put one in because it is a large. I'm sure that's larger than the average teaspoon. Yeah. For some reason she put the yeast in one corner and the oil in the other before she mixed it. I yeah, I, I, I didn't do that. I don't know why that makes a difference. Right, so add all dry ingredients to before, add in olive oil. I'm going to mix them before I start. I need to supervise this. I hate it when people don't mix stuff properly. So whose bread is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a rat annoying, you, don't you think? Is she bossy? <laughs> yeah. She puts all her ingredients in a bowl, not the dry ingredients. She doesn't mix it and then she has the wet. Oh, that drives me crazy. Yeah. Because I just think it's not mixed properly. No. So I'm now going to add the wet. There's two teaspoons of dry fast action yeast. Or yeast, as she calls it. <laughs> that's yes, it's funny. She doesn't does. pronounce. Why does she? No. Yeast. Whether that's a cultural thing. I don't know. I think it isn't. Because some cultures can't say certain... Um, certain... Letters. letters, yeah. Mm, I guess there's a, a problem with words. Words, okay. Never mind letters. Yeah. <laughs> this um, is me. <laughs> ah, I get it all bunged in. That's what I thought. I thought, what's this there in that? <laughs> there's, there's no salt in these ingredients, and yet she put some salt in there. And the salt are my list of ingredients. A teaspoon. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, there is. I missed that. You need to put your glasses on, mate. That's a good idea, actually. That's a good idea. I can't tell them. I've got my face on there. I'll have to do something. <laughs> Bit what, of a look. What was the point? What was the point, I know. Four tablespoons of... What oil is that? This it is. Is it light olive oil? It's light. Oh. Oil. It's a blend of olive oil and virgin olive oil, apparently. Oh. It's in a plastic bottle. I don't like plastic bottles. It's got his, it's got his uh, silicon spatula around. We means business. If yours turns out better than mine, yeah. I'll have to just follow a recipe for water. <laughs> even if it kills me. Well, I'm not exactly following it because I haven't used a tablespoon, have I? Oh, that's not a big deal, is it? No, no. Pretty much everything is the same as what she did it. You know, you've got to knead it for 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> and that's what you did, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know this is a bake off. Yeah. What do you think that's <laughs> do you think that's good? I think it needs more water myself. I think it needs a bit more. Because the the flax is quite absorbent. Right. But it's good, yeah, to put bits in at a time. She always says that to just do a bit at a time. Yeah. I'd, I'd be in there with my hands though. Yeah, well, I learned this when I was uh, working under Paul Hollywood, of course. All about the bread. Okay. Oh? Paul Hollywood. Oh, see, what is it on? Who is it? She don't know Paul Hollywood. <laughs> I thought all the women swooned over Paul Hollywood. I don't even know who he is, so. There goes that theory. Oh, that's looking right good, is that? Do you reckon? I think it's going to be better than mine. I'll sulk. I'm going to sulk. Well, I don't know what to do right now. Is that wet enough, do you think? I don't want to put any more in it. I think it's I think it'll be all right. Do you? Yeah, you'll have to try to ruin it, aren't you? <laughs> Can we have more Sabotage is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's bigger than mine. That's because I used more of the... You used 150, didn't you? Yeah, it's only 20 grams, isn't it? I was out with 20 grams. I can't remember what she did next now. She had... It sits... It's about 4 or 5 minutes, wasn't it? 4 to 5 minutes, like you say. <laughs> <laughs> 10. 10 minutes, I think. It, was it 20 minutes? <laughs> Was it 20 minutes? It might be 20 minutes. And then it has to sit in a warm place yeah. for an hour to prove it's bread and not some else. Is 
these are the glutes when you're stretching out. Yeah. Get ahead, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what do you do for making gluten-free bread? Then what do you do? Well, you don't have to do all this. <laughs> but you can use psyllium husk. Right. Which has got um, a sort of a spongy kind of, well, like a, a bit like a gluten texture. So if you've got a gluten issue, intolerance, then psyllium husk is uh, an alternative. Right. Right. I'm just going to show you outside while he's doing that. Look, look at this view. It's fabulous. If a little misty. I believe you don't know who Paul Hollywood is. <laughs> <laughs> who is he? Didn't you used to watch Bake Off? Bake Off? I didn't. No. I haven't watched telly for... Well, this was years ago. Oh, I haven't watched telly for years. Oh, there you go then. That's fairly it, is it? I think it's too dry. Do you? Yeah. It's oily. Yes, it's oily. But I think it's water-wise, it might be a bit dry. Oh, look at him with his fancy, smancy movements. All your viewers who know who Paul Hollywood is will know why I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, I do you know why you're doing it, though. No, no. Just because I saw someone doing it once. I thought, oh, that looks professional. Yeah, I've, seen, I've seen people do it, but that doesn't look like the right texture. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so removed, to be honest. <laughs> Why do you put more liquid in it? Do you not? I think it needs Paul Hollywood, that's what You're going to Google Paul Hollywood next time. <laughs> I might do. I'll see if there's a heartthrob, like you say. You've heard of Mary Berry, haven't you? I've heard of Mary Berry. She's ancient, though, isn't she? <laughs> she is. She doesn't look bad for 115, though. No, she don't. I don't like that bread. I don't like this bread. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, there'll be any miracles happening around here yeah. anytime soon, but you never know. No. It will be when I fly off to Morrison's and buy some. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A crusty bloomer. A crusty bloomer. You sure you don't want to put any more liquid on it? Liquid? <laughs> Looks dry to me. <laughs> Spec savers, lady. Spec savers. <laughs> Oily, yes, it looks oily, but oil and water are two different things. They're both wet. And one's oily, actually. <laughs> one's oily and one's wet. What does anybody else think? I'm not going to. You shouldn't overneed. I'm sure I've well overneeded that. Yeah, I know you haven't overneeded it. It was 20 minutes of kneading, <laughs> and you haven't done 20. It wasn't 20 minutes. It was. It's not even 20 minutes. It's going to be rustic is your bread. Rustic. Rustic's always the word you use. <laughs> Another then. word for shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. Oh dear. I'm sure mine won't be any better anyway. Interesting shape. It will be because I've got a secret weapon. A crusty bloomer from Morrison's. <laughs> so I need something. Be like that. It shouldn't be like that at all. It's not like regular flour where you knock it back again, is it? Yeah. What do you mean, knock it back again? Normally, when you make a bread dough, yes, you chuck it in there, chuck it somewhere warm for, and it comes up, doesn't it? It does. And then you knock it back. All oh, right. Knock all the air out, knock it back, then shape it into what you want. Ah. Don't whether it's a, a bun, loaf. Yeah. Or whether it's buns, tea cakes. <laughs> Yeah, UK. buns are sweet things, aren't they? Yeah. Bloody buns. Cobs. Cobs? Cobs. That's gone on the cob. Just oiling his bowl, which I didn't do either. Yeah, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to expand massively, this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, we'll get back to you.